Hello, the show's over. Mnet played Mio. Honestly, what were we even expecting once Mnet started evil editing Mio one episode before the finale? Like a panga song, they must get full of that part. Ma, um, this. Ma, um, Mio. The debut is. 지켜줘 어제나 이런 느낌이야. They tried to make it seem like she can't sing. Of course, she sang the high note with no problems on the live stage during the final episode. And Mnet immediately switched to a camera that was showing absolutely nothing as if it's a sin that Mio can actually sing like a main vocal. Anyways, enough with Mnet and Produce. Both are cancelled for me and I won't be watching another season of these things ever again. But instead of a video full of just hating on Mnet, I want to go back to the beginning of this all and talk about my journey as a Mio fan and why I chose to stand her. Honestly, I was sold when this happened. I always love unique and huskier vocals. Plus, I find Mio to be very cute. Like, very cute. I contact fight. 안녕하세요. 저는 다키즈미야라고 합니다. 한국 아. So yeah, I was already a fan. But learning about her struggles the past 9 years really got me so much more invested. Some of you may have read my letter to Mio after the show ended where I mentioned I did a sport for 11 years of my life. I also never ranked highly nationally for most of my 11 years doing that activity. It often felt like I was in a one-sided relationship with the sport. I loved it but it just didn't love me back. It did not help that my university's team was very successful as a whole. So individually I felt detached from the success of my teammates. I felt like I understand to a certain extent how Mayu may have felt. There are days where I felt like I was useless and weak because that is apparently what my ranking means. But after taking a half year break from the sport, I returned to it focusing a lot more on my love for the activity and spending time with my friends on the league. I actually ended up having even more competitive success and was able to better enjoy my relationships with other people doing the sport. I retired from sports last year and even though I was never number one or ranked in the top 10 nationally, I felt like my career was a success. It was a success because of all the things I have learned, how I have grown as a person and all the friendships I made along the way. I hope after this wild ride on Produce 48 Min I won't think she is not good enough because of not debuting with the final group or because of the final ranking she got. Based on my own experience I want to say this. Don't let other people define your success for you Mio. Go write your own success story. Mio please be happy and choose to do whatever makes you happy. Because that is what matters the most. And we Mio cats or Mew Mew Duns or whatever people who adore you calls ourselves these days will walk with you down whatever path you choose. So on this note, for fans of this channel, the direction of this channel will depend on what Mio chooses to do now after the show. There will not be enough material for weekly updates but I'll try to make something every now and then. I have a few crack videos in mind for some moments in the last few episodes that I can make for later. But besides those upcoming videos, let us wait for Mio together. Also a similar message to my followers on Twitter. At Midge the Brit on Twitter is my personal account even though in the last few weeks it looked like a Mio fan account. So yes I will be sharing any good Mio content I see but as a multi-fandom and a young and politically aware person in general I will also be sharing other K-pop stuff and international news I find interesting as well on a daily basis. Please understand. Thank you for all your support these past few months. I love you and I am sure Mio loves you too.